Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. With the Six of Swords, I do see somebody is like somebody's withdrawing an offer here or they're they're rejecting an offer. Um, they're moving on from something here. Something that somebody was pretty invested in. It looks like there was some type of divine intervention that occurred that made somebody finally leave something behind. Maybe there was a lack of cooperation in a situation, lack of compromise, lack of teamwork. Um, somebody may have also been refusing to walk away from something and that would progress the situation with you. I do see that somebody was refusing to walk away from something or they maybe went back to something that was toxic. I'm also seeing that as well. I feel like... Hmm, this is already complicated. I'm going to have to definitely clarify. So, tell me about the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Temperance. What does this have to do with the Two of Swords? Lovers in reverse. Somebody's not making a decision here. Somebody's not making a decision that would lead to a new... Ugh. What are they not... What's the Lovers in reverse? Yeah, they're not they're not making a decision to put an end to something here. Or they haven't yet. They would need to put an end to a situation so that you and them could have a new um stable start. Or have a new or for them to bring it like offer you something. But I see that somebody still has not made a, a decision and it would also lead to, you know, a reconciliation between you and this person, but they have not made the decision here. Three of Swords. It could also be that this person hasn't made a decision because they don't feel like they're healed enough from something. All right. Let's see what else. Well, yeah. Somebody's trying to heal from some type of ending where somebody maybe backstabbed them, broke their heart, a bad ending of a situation. Somebody's still trying to heal from that. So that's why they have not made the decision to come in with an offer yet because they just don't feel like they're ready. They don't feel like they're over a situation. They don't feel like they're ready um, to have this new start yet. Which, I mean, guys, is, is actually pretty, is good. You know, it is good that this person's wanting to wait till they're healed to um, come toward you. You know, you don't want somebody coming in, bringing all their baggage and their drama and chaos. And Yeah, something isn't progressing because something hasn't ended yet. That's what I keep saying. Somebody needs to close out a cycle here. It's the Empress. All right. Hmm. So yeah, somebody has not freed themselves from something yet. It's for if you have, if you guys feel like you have moved on from somebody or you have cut court, like left somebody in the past, spirit says that's not true. You, I feel like you are still having an energetic core. You still have some in some way you need to move away from somebody. You and this person could still have like an energetic cord that needs to be cut. So somebody could be trying to strategize how to put an end to a situation without chaos erupting. Yeah, that's what I see. So maybe that's why somebody hasn't completely put an end to a situation yet because they're afraid. They know that by ending things with this person or, or ending this situation, that there's a high possibility that there's going to be some type of tower moment that happens um, from this ending. So they're trying to strategize the best way to go about doing this to prevent like a disaster. This could definitely be somebody that somebody has, this could be somebody, somebody has, oh, I can't talk. Maybe somebody is having a hard time getting their words out too. But this could be someone that they have children with or that you have children with. Yeah, somebody feels like they're not in a place to build anything or to rebuild. Somebody feels like they don't have anything to invest in you.
All right, so what's the two of wands? Three of cups. Somebody's trying to make a decision between two people or two paths here. Yeah, trying to decide which one is going to lead to long-term stability. All right, what's the four swords in reverse? Somebody's lacking the courage here to speak up, co communicate, to make a decision. I'm telling you. Somebody's trying to avoid conflict. So, so somebody's not making a decision about something because they are afraid that a fight is going to erupt. Four of Wands, Queen of Cups, the Star in Reverse, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like the, somebody was trying to maybe work on like a family situation, a marriage, a commitment that there was really no hope for. Okay. And I feel like somebody is maybe coming to that realization now. So they, they, they don't want, they're not trying to pursue that. They're not trying to emotionally invest in that situation anymore. Yeah, somebody is no longer, it's like somebody's no longer weighing their options about who they want to be with. Somebody's about to take a leap of faith though. Somebody's about to take a leap of faith and finally make a decision that's going to progress the situation when it's been stagnant for quite some time. I feel like somebody is releasing the past because there's no success in that. Hmm. All right, let's get more into the nitty gritty about what's going on here. I can already tell this is pretty complex. So I'm excited to get into the Oracle cards to see what is really going on here. Look at this. We have the Keep Shining card. Mm, so somebody is um, irritated by your light. Somebody doesn't like your light. It irritates their demons. Somebody's watching you. Somebody sees you shining. Somebody sees you doing well. They see you looking good. And somebody does not like that. All right. It's making them irritated. Tell me more about this. They see you in Empress mode. Bystander. Yeah, I feel like somebody that you were dealing with, they were refusing to make a decision about you and about between you and maybe another situation or between you and another person. They were just like, I'm just going to let everything play out the way, it, you know, on its own. But stuff doesn't work like that sometimes. All right. Yeah, it could have been a friend or even or this is not maybe those guys, the person you're dealing with could have like friends around them that know that your friend is messy. They know that your friend makes bad decisions, but they just they don't even they don't um check your friend. OK, they just like let them they, they don't say anything like, dude, you need to get your life together or girl, you need to get it together. Like you're being messy. They just have friends that just like watch them for their friend crash and burn. I, I don't know. I hope that makes sense, guys. Like they have people around them that just sit back and just watch your friend ruin their life like they don't give them any like advice they're just like well they're grown they, you know they, they make their own decisions like they don't they don't have friends that like care enough to like say like hey dude like chill out like you need to get your life together like they just have friends that just sit back and watch them um ruin their life and they may it may be because they have friends around them that don't want them to elevate you know Somebody's spiritual here. Somebody's spiritual and somebody could probably put, could practice witchcraft or, you know, witchcraft could be anything from actually, you know, doing spell work to setting intentions, um, you know, uh, using intention candles. It could be anything, guys. So somebody could be using tarot to watch somebody or stalk somebody. I feel like there's somebody keeping tabs on you watching your social media <laughs> what someone does routinely their response so they do this like this is like a part of their daily routine okay like their daily routine is keeping tabs on you checking your social media accounts to see what you're up to what you're doing all right Mm. So
Somebody sees that you're at peace. Somebody sees that you're at peace, that you're comfortable, you're, you're, you're doing very well in your life. And now they regret what they did to you. Thank you so much, Beatrice. Thank you so much for the $19.99. I appreciate that so much. Ignored. <laughs> this person could have ignored you. They slept on you. They didn't see your worth. Or this person feels ignored by you. And now they regret how whatever they did to you because you guys aren't giving this person the time of day. You guys are just enjoying your life. You're at peace with what you, you've made peace with whatever has happened between the two of you. And you're moving on with your life. Now this person is stalking you in regret that they ignored you or they dismissed you. They feel like you're like they, they yeah, they're crying over you. They're in regret. Yeah, they see you loving yourselves. You guys are unapologetically loving yourselves. Uh, you're not going to stoop to, you know, you're not going to lower your vibration or stoop to anyone's level. You're, you're going to make everybody meet you at your level. Now this person wants to be more than friends. Now that you guys started unapologetically loving yourselves, now they want to be more than friends. Uh-oh, what's evidence? What about evidence? No limits. It's like this person is hearing good things about you. Like they, it's like this person wants proof that, how do I explain this? So it's like they can maybe hear good things about you. Like, oh yeah, my collective, they, you know, their business is flourishing. Their, their money's really good. They're looking really good. It's like they want some type of, how do I say this? Somebody does not respect boundaries here. That's, I'm seeing that as well. I kind of feel like this person is like going to be coming or is like coming back towards you, not going to be very like respectful of your boundaries. Like they, like they have something that on their mind that they want to achieve in this situation and they're going to do anything to do, to get to you or yeah, look at this false twin flame. So this is somebody that's posing as a, fl a twin flame, but it's not a real twin flame situation. It may seem like one, but spirit is saying that this is a false twin flame. Long distance. Could be somebody that lives at a distance from you as well. What I kind of feel like this is a person that they see you doing well and they don't like that. They don't want you doing better than them. So they're going to try to get back in here. They're not going to be respecting your boundaries. They want to get back in and try to like knock you down a few notches. That's what I'm seeing here. Somebody's projecting all their insecurities, all their imperfections onto you. This person that you're dealing with or who's coming through in this reading has a very nasty mouth. Like they're very cutting with their words, very critical of other people, very judgmental. So let's bring this together. What does this have to do with my collective? What does my collective need to know about this? Yeah, so, so somebody's motive. So I feel like Spirit is trying to say there's somebody coming back towards you and they want you to know that they have their they, they have like a hidden agenda so they're coming back towards you they're coming back to try to control you and the situation it's like they could be coming back we're irresponsible yeah it's like this person you can't trust this person you can't rely on them i feel like this person's coming back with some type of hidden motives they want to control you or the situation That, what did I just say, guys? Yeah, this person is trying to sabotage you. They're going to be coming back to try to sabotage you. But they're going to be maybe posing. It's like this person's going to try to come back and like dim your light, sabotage you. But you guys are like on such a high vibration. You're not even going to let this person close that close to you to do that.
Yeah, somebody's nosy. Somebody just wants to know what you got going on. Somebody wants to know what's going on in your life. They want to know about your business. If you have a business or why you guys are doing so well, how you're making your money. Hmm. It's like they want to get some type of information on you so they can copy you or they can... This person's been thinking about you a lot. Money problems. So this could be somebody, this, why does this seem like this has something to do with business? So some of you guys can be very successful in your careers or in doing something. And this person wants to come get some information or some advice, some tips so that they can like copy you or that they can achieve what you have achieved. It's like this person like wants to achieve what you have. So they want to come back and they, their only reason they're coming back is to try to get some information out of you. Because this person could be going through some type of financial issues. And they could maybe see that you're doing very well financially. So they want to know how you do it. They want to know how to get out of this financial slump or whatever they're in right now. And they think that you have answers to how to fix that, their financial situation. It's like this person's coming back. Like maybe just like acting like they just want to catch up. That they, you know, they missed you, whatever. But it's really they just want to get some information out of you. In regards to that can help them in their money situation or obtain something. This person's very manipulative. If this is a love situation, guys, somebody. This definitely is looking like a third party situation. Spirit just told me that I could be also channeling a situation that's going on with your person. So your person could be doing a lot of thinking about you, but they could be going through some type of money issues because they're going through some type of legal situation with a third party. Yeah, somebody's watching you through tarot readings. Somebody's getting tarot readings. They're going to see a psych psychic to get information about you and your situation. This could be somebody that they are married to. So this is a love situation. Somebody that they're married to is trying to get information on you. For the clout, yeah. Somebody's coming in being fake here to try to get some money out of somebody here. This could be the person you're dealing with or this could be somebody coming towards you to try to get something out of you. What does this have to do with my collective? Divorce. Fake. I asked what this meant for my collective and it could be somebody that um this is somebody that you used to have a connection with but it has you have been in, there's been distance between you and this person this could be somebody that you are married to this could have been somebody that you were married to or somebody that you were in a relationship with So what's the intentions of this person that my collective has been dealing with? So this person wants to be friends. This person's intentions, they want to be friends with you. But just know that, guys, this person's very low vibrational, okay? This person's very low vibrational, but they want to be they may, they want to be friends. Yeah, they think very highly of you. This person that, you know, that you were romantically involved with at some point, they think very highly of you. They think you're an earth angel.
they think you're very honest. You have pure intentions, very kind hearted. You're very honest. And, but this person's very low vibrational. Yeah, they're, they, they overthink things. They're very much stuck in their head. All right, so tell me, distorted masculine. This person looks up to you, but the, you can't trust this person though. This person has either they backstabbed you in some type, type of way, they've been disloyal to you in some type of way, or they have betrayed your trust in some type of way, all right? This is something that you can't trust this person. But it's like they look up to you because you're very smart. They view you as very intelligent and very smart. And this person doesn't feel like they can get enough of you. This person kind of like wants you to just kind of... <laughs> it's like this person is supposed to go along for the ride with you because it's like this person knows that you're so high vibrational that like they know that if they were to follow you or to yeah follow you that you would not steer them in the wrong direction but i just feel like you can't trust this person why is it that i feel like they can't trust this person yeah this person's a heartbreaker and they're toxic look at this a person who can break hearts easily everyone wants them but not everyone can have them bad habits addictions can't stay away from harmful st substances and then we also have digging for gold. So to some degree, this person is wanting to come towards you because they feel like something about what you have, your money, your assets, your stability. It's like this person is really desiring to be in a relationship with you because of something that you have or they think that you guys could achieve. Like if you guys um, make good money, they want that. All right. They want your, they want to be, they want to be with you because they feel like you're financially stable. But just, I asked spirit if, if you can trust this person or not. And they said, no. This person's toxic, and there's a high possibility that this person's going to do something to break your heart. All right? Or uh, break your heart again. Okay, where's the deck I'm looking for? What do I do with it? Oh, there it is. All right, let's get more information here. What is going on here, guys? There's always something going on. Yeah, with the false twin flame card coming out, with the round and round card coming out, this is probably a karmic you guys have been dealing with. Somebody's been dealing with a karmic who has been staying, who come, keeps coming back to you or dealing with you because of money. Like, look at this, round and round and finances. The cycle keeps repeating because of money. But it looks like if this is somebody that you guys have shared finances with or you lived with, you guys, somebody could be moving. Somebody could literally be moving to another city, to a new home, moving because of a job, because somebody's finally realizing that this situation is never going to progress into anything serious. Or somebody's just moving on completely from this person because they're realizing that it's not going to progress. Somebody's realizing that they've been being used. Yeah, this could definitely be a karmic soulmate. Spirit's been trying to protect you from this person. Spirit knows this person's, Spirit's like, yeah, this person's been trying to use you. With the evil eye here, they've been trying to protect you from this person. Or Spirit is saying you are protected from this person. Spirit says they want you to focus on cleansing and protecting your energy. Yeah, you could have some pe jealous people around you as well. You need to be careful about who you trust. Because there's some people around you that don't have good intentions for you. Posing as people that are your friends, your best friends, or people that love you. But um, that's not the truth here. Yeah, it's like you're realizing that you need to move on from the situation because this situation is blocking your manifestations. So this person could have also been trying to keep staying with you because of lust. Like, you know, it was maybe a lot of ke good chemistry or good pa a lot of passion between you and this person. But I see that somebody is moving on from this because they're realizing that that's the only thing. That's that's all this is, is passion and money. But um, 
I feel like there's some type of new rare opportunity that's trying to come towards you. It's like you're going to finally step into your soul's purpose, which you're supposed to really be redoing, stepping onto your true path. Um, but, you know, it, it, what first has to happen is that this this person is a blockage to that. All right. Staying with this person is a blockage to your manifestations. It's a blockage to you receiving this um, opportunity for you stepping into your true purpose. It's like this was somebody that was posing as somebody that loved you or cared about you, but you really are realizing that they were a hidden enemy. They had hidden had a, had a hidden agenda. I already said this. They were two faced. They were doing things in secret. Yeah, there's something that's about to change here, though. Yeah, it's like what's going to change is that you're going to finally have the full picture. You may have not been able to see, understand everything, or understand this per person, but it's like you're finally going to be able to see the whole picture. Everything is going to make sense. It's probably only after you spend some time alone. It's like once you pull your energy back from probably any everybody starts spending some more time alone. That's when everything's going to become clear. And that's when this, these new opportunities are going to come for you, come towards you. You're going to have a chance for a new beginning and starting over. And then that's when that gift from the divine is going to come in. Yeah, this is a, um, a divine gift that's coming in for you once you pull back from this situation. Um, so let's get some more. Let's see here. This is a shady person. You can't trust this person. They're suspect. They've been hiding things from you. It's like the closer you guys get to the divine, the more easy you're. It's like you guys are gonna be able to. Your intuition is getting stronger, guys. You were unable to see this person for who they truly were at some point. Yeah, this person's watching you. This person's watching you. They may say that, you know, can I come over? You want to come over to my house? This person knows how to manipulate. They know how to reel people in. They know how to make people feel bad for them and to get what they want out of people. This person's going to be coming in and almost begging you to take them back or trying to win you over. Just to try to, just for you to find out that this person was just trying to use you. They would do all of that. They did, they're going to do the most or they've done the most just to use you. Yeah, this person's trying to play you. This is somebody that is well known for their, um, their behavior, for them being stupid, for them being reckless, nasty. Mm, somebody's. Uh, about to be put on blast possibly this came out i don't remember who's reading this was that i did was it last week or the week before somebody's bad deeds are might are gonna about to they're gonna be put on social media or put out in public somebody's about to be put out on put on blast secrets are about to be exposed somebody may um post something about this person publicly and everybody's gonna see it like the word's gonna spread very quickly about this situation and about this person that's what i'm seeing here and I feel like the, the word about you is also spreading just as fast. But you have good things going around going on around about you. You guys um are achieving a lot, you guys are looking good, your your vibration's good. It's like, but this person's about to be exposed for their bad deeds. It's like you're about to your good deeds are gonna be going viral too, but what they've been doing is about to go viral, but it's not good. You know what I mean? Like I hope that makes sense. Like Yeah, look at this. It's like, you're going to be like, when you find out what this person's been up to, when this, when they get put on blast, you're going to be like, wow. Like, you're going to be like, I can't even believe this.
this could have been somebody that tried to throw shade at you or try to talk bad about you when they had a lot of, they were doing all types of shady things. They didn't have any right to say anything bad about you or to talk down about you or whatever they were doing, but that could resonate for some of you. Oh, here we go, guys. See, I I really hate pulling this deck out, but it, like, exposes the T. All right, guys? Like, look at this. Abortion or miscarriage, end of a pregnancy. Hmm. Cocaine, op op opioids, heroin, meth. If you guys have somebody blocked, they want you to unblock them, but that could be what is going to come out. Like, they had a secret baby, but they maybe made somebody get an abortion. Somebody has an addiction. So they could have got somebody pregnant. Somebody lost a ba some baby. I don't know, guys. This is messy. Yep, look at this. Beggar, mooch, opportunist. Yep, this person's a beggar. They want, they like mooching off of people. We need to talk ASAP because yeah, they want they want something out of you. They want you to unblock them. They need they want to try to get something out of you. <laughs> They're gonna be coming in saying, I wanna I'm sorry I broke your heart. What can I do to fix it? Just to try to use you again. Yeah, look, this person has mommy and daddy issues, inner child issues, plotting on your downfall. This person does not have good intentions for you. Clearing what did I say, guys? I said this in the beginning of the reading that you guys have to cut cords. Clearing work and cord cutting needed. That's exactly what I said. You may think that you have moved on from somebody, but you have not. All right, guys. So you may want to look into a cord cutting ceremony. That's exactly what I was saying. You may think you've moved on from them, but you still are connected to them. Yep. I, I got that feeling. Yeah, skeletons in the closet. you give me another chance this time it will be different this person has a lot of things that they need to face and they need to heal and work on because yeah friends of benefits yeah this person's gonna be kind towards you saying like can you give me another chance but this isn't gonna go any further than friends with benefits i just want to and when i say friends of benefits i mean like not just like sexual i mean like they're gonna be trying to benefit off your money stuff like that money what they what they can get out of you concern yeah you could be dealing with somebody that has some type of health mental health issue as well but yeah the the gist of what the reading is here look at this player whore or player that's who you're dealing with so somebody that sleeps around a lot they're a user they're a beggar um spirit is just saying that as long as you hold on to this person there's, there's something big that they're trying to gift you or give to you, bless you with, that you're going to be blocked from until you cut cords with this person. That's completely up to you if you want to keep trying to um, deal with this person, wait for this person. But Spirit says as long as you hold on to them, you are blocking your blessings. All right? And I swear to saying that this, there's a high possibility that this person's going to come in and try to use you. All right? And that's the only purpose. that That's all they're trying to get out of this connection or relationship. So, let's see here. Sometimes you have to cut cords more than once. 
cord cutting ceremonies don't always work. All right. So even if you think that you've done a cord cutting ceremony, they do not always work, especially if the person um, on the other end um, is very much opposing that energy. All right. Opp opposing the energy of you trying to cut the cords with them. You sometimes have to do it more than once. But whoever this reading is for, you still have an energetic connection to this person. Where's the deck at? get a little bit of look at this guys so if you guys are mothers if you guys have children spirit says they really want you to focus on um motherhood mothering your children focus on your children pour all of your energy into your babies um don't give any of your energy to this person all right um spirit says they want you to they want you to be grateful for everything else that you have in your life besides you know try to shift your focus away from this situation it says don't forget to see the beauty beyond your ambitions and enjoy those little things in life so they want you to um recognize the beauty in your life um they just really want you to, in a nutshell, they want you to shift your focus away from this situation and this person. This person is going to be coming in with some type of offer, guys. They are going to be wanting to get back together. But look at this card right here. Blowing smoke. He's just blowing smoke or he or she is just sm blowing smoke in your face. Don't trust everything he tells you, babe. Remember, actions speak louder than words. So, yeah, they are, they are going to try to get back together with you. They are going to be returning. They are coming in with a love offer, but Spirit says they will be blowing smoke. All right. So let's see what was on that. Yeah. And motherhood was on the back of the deck. So look at this ego trip. He knows he missed out on a good woman. His mistake was thinking you wouldn't walk away. Now it's your turn to be chased. Yeah. This is the kind of person that thought that you would always be there to use. Like they thought that they could leave you and that you would always be there um, for, for when they wanted to come back and try to use you again. But I think they're about to be in for a rude awakening. Or I hope so. All right. So this is what I have for you guys today. This is what I have for you guys today. This is what I have for you guys 